Welcome to Coney Australia. My name's Glenn Cleman and today we're talking about Coney Special Active, previously known as FSD. Now the FSD stands for Frequency Select Dampening. Geez, that one's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? So we're going to be fitting these to our X-Trail, our company X-Trail. It's got Coney live reel over the side of it, so it has to have Coney's in it. And today's the first opportunity we've got. We're going to have a bit of fun with it first. Um, because Coney's all about experience, we're gonna take the car for a drive with the factory um, shock absorbers in it. We'll take it across uh, um, some undulating surfaces. There's a bit of a road not far away that's very bumpy and sort of rocky. We're gonna drive down that and with the standard shocks, then we'll bolt the special active in and then we'll take it back over the same road and we'll explain the difference to you. Um, if you wanna know some more information about the FSD or the special active with the FSD valve, we're gonna put a link uh, on the bottom of the screen and you can just go to our website and read more about it. But really, in quite simple terms, what the FSD valve does is it adapts the road surface um, for the car. So if it's uh, really sharp bumps, it absorbs the bumps nicely, yet still gives you good feedback and loads up. So if you wanna drive relatively quickly, or you wanna do a track day, these are pretty popular in um, certain Porsches, you can, um, really rely on the handling aspects of it, gives really good feedback, and of course, it's not like a hard sport shock or a coilover, which really gives you a thump up the back when you hit a heavy bump. This shock absorber absorbs the uh, shocks um, really nicely, uh, the bumps really nicely. So, uh, without further ado, we're gonna uh, jump in the car, go for a spin, and um, we'll give you some feedback. Trail. So uh, the Navarra's have got conies in them, and this one's going to have conies in it by the end of the day. Alright, we're just about to um, come onto the undulating road. Um, traditionally, X Trails, look, the suspension's pretty good. It's got nice, nice uh, feel. Um, the suspension, it's not too soft, not too tight. I actually rather like the way that it, it, it rides uh, in stock standard form. There's a couple of the sharp, sharper bumps we hit were, were pretty sharp, but um, other than that, it's quite good. But here we are now, as you can see from the car moving, um, the road's quite bumpy, it's uh, quite cracked, and there's some pieces of the tarmac falling away. And you can just see by sort of the movement of the car, it's sort of rolling around. It's uh, not too bad. It sort of it is um, wallowing a little bit when we go through some of the bigger bumps, which might be a bit hard to see on camera. But um, just the, it, it is a little bit sort of, it's, if the suspension feels tight, and then it's sort of, once you go over a bigger bump, it, it keeps wallowing a bit, which is a little bit sort of funny, but I guess that's what you get with a standard sort of shock absorber. There you go, that was a big one. That was a bit of fun. We nearly got a couple of wheels off the ground there. <laughs> Look, as a general rule, the suspension's not too bad, but some of the sharper bumps, they do feel quite, quite hard. And again, the sort of the suspension does continue to move. It's a little bit of wallowing, the sort of the, the, that pitching front and rear. Not too bad, but it's still there. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how the special actives handle this road. Yeah, hope you're not getting car sick, Adam, because uh, <laughs> holding the camera this way. But um, it's uh, definitely a fun road to test suspension, especially that bit just there. So these are going to go in there.
So you just saw how easy it was to remove these Carney Special Actives from the rear. And we're about to time Alex and see how quickly he can get this one in. I'm going to take bets on uh, how long we reckon it takes Alex to put this in. What do you reckon, Tristan? Three minutes. Adam? I'll go with two. What do you reckon, Alex? Ah, oh, no idea. <laughs> You watch the clock and tell me. Okay, so Alex is just getting on the fence there, I think, so we'll see how he goes. Ready, steady, spaghetti. Done. Okay, so there you have it. One minute and 27 seconds to fit a Coney Special Active to the rear of an X-Trail. It's got to be a record. Thanks, <laughs> Alex. Okay, here we are. We've um, got the new Special Actives in the X-Trail and um, this is the road test. Now, I know my jacket says Coney and um, of course I'm going to be a little bit biased, but I've got to tell you, the difference is amazing. Coney's all about experience the difference. It's actually phenomenal. The, the sharp bumps um, are quite smooth, almost lethargic, really sort of plush ride. But when you need it, when you throw the car into a corner, it sits flat, like so flat that it, it actually nearly outperforms the tires. And I'll show you what I mean. We're actually, we're not quite at the undulating road yet. I'm going over some sort of, there's some ripples coming up to a corner it's just soaking up lovely. And as I've come to the corner on Stapex, the corner, put the nose in a bit. The car's flat. Like, that was one hand around a 90 degree bend and it sat flat. Now, I, I drive, I've driven some, I've got, I've got a performance car in the garage too. This car rides like a performance car now and it's an X-Trail. You know, it's pretty much an SUV. It's a high riding car, but it just drives really, really nicely. So, um, we'll come back in a second when we're on the undulating road and I'll, I'll give you, um, the, the uh, experience there. It, it really is so much nicer to drive, it's ridiculous. But here we are on the, the bumpy road. Um, of course the car's gonna roll because the road's really broken, falling away. But all of the sharp little bumps yesterday that we could really feel the kick, I could feel it through the steering wheel, I could feel it through the back of the car, through the seat. Just that initial bump that gives you that little kick. It's just not there. It's actually, it feels really sort of plush and nice but as I said before, when you need it, you throw the car into a corner, it holds the car flat. The FSD valve feels the load, feels the weight of the car, and, and reacts to that and gives you good rebound forces. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I think we're coming up to the really jumpy section, Adam. This is it here now, actually. That was a bit of fun. It didn't feel like I got any wheels off the ground this time, though. It's, it's, look, it's just really, really nice. It's a hell of a nice feeling. Um, and it certainly changes the handling characteristics of the car as well. It's, 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 it's like driving a different car. It's, um, if you could do a blindfold test, which would be fun driving a motor car, of course, I, I, I think, you know, most people could really, really tell the difference. So, you know, uh, special active shock absorbers for all round handling improvement. Um, there's another fun bit here, there we go. Um, and comfort. Um, can't go past Cody.
Okay, so there you have it. We've um, been up and down this road a few times and tried to show you how the FSDs react to the undulating surfaces. Um, again, it's really hard on video to um, really get the feel, but do yourself a favour. If you know someone that's got FSDs fitted to their car, just jump in and take it for a spin. I'm sure you'll be impressed or give them a go yourself. You won't be disappointed. Um, so that's it for this episode. The FSD is coming up soon. We've got um, some sports being fitted to the front of a uh, an early model Porsche. Um, we've done the classics course for the Mustang. We've also got some Coney Raids being fitted to a Nissan Navara. So um, if you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Oh, I'm just really having fun with these shocks. I've got to tell you, that was so much fun going over these bumps. Please hit subscribe. Um, we've got plenty more um, uh, content coming. So um, stay tuned and thanks for watching. Cheers.